Welcome back. More homes are popping up in California using passive house standards. Those are regulations aimed at lowering greenhouse gases. With a walkthrough of a passive house being built, we go to Action News reporter Alani Latang from Carmel Valley. So you can feel the radiation from the sun coming right. onto your hand there. And then when this is closed, you can't feel it. It feels kind of more cool in here. This is the making of a passive house. Originating in Germany in 1992 is designed to run on 20% of the energy of a conventional house. There's everything having to do with the boundary of the building or the, the separation between inside and outside. So the thermal integrity of the walls and the floor and the roof. A certified passive house focuses entirely on energy efficiency to drive down greenhouse gases, experts say linked to climate change. The home will need to include better mechanical systems, advanced framing, better windowing. The, it's, it has, it's highly insulative, the actual glass portion is highly insulative, and then it has this really thick frame section. If you can't commit to your entire house being passive house standards, there are some measures you can take inside your home to limit your carbon footprint. Usually it turns out that air leakage is the thing where you're really losing a lot of energy and it's really easy to fix. You can just buy a case of caulking and go around and start caulking all the places. Experts say that's a start, but more is needed. The United Nations emissions report says we should immediately focus on achieving 65% reduction in carbon emissions by 2030 to avoid a 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius rise in temperature. In Carmel Valley, I'm Alani Latang, KSVW Action News 8.